Some people are confused about what to protect when it comes to safeguarding their data. The idea of knowing what the attacker or what some money that it has in malicious intention wants to get from you, when you understand what they are looking for, it's easier for you to protect your devices. Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. This is where we talk about cybersecurity. So today we are looking at three things that an attacker or someone with a malicious intent wants to compromise or wants to get from you or want to take advantage of whenever they are trying to hack or attack you. The first thing is your confidentiality. And when you are talking about confidentiality, basically we are talking about your privacy. We are talking about every attacker or hacker is looking for a way to compromise your privacy. That is to have access to something that belongs to only you. Something that is exclusively yours. You do something you are not willing to give out you know, or to show off to someone. So an attacker is looking at a way of breaking your confidentiality, breaking your privacy, having access to those personal information that belongs to you. And of course, when they have access to personal information, what they use it to do is to exploit you, you know, to you can use it to blackmail you. They can use those information to, you know, to blackmail your friends or people around you. They can use it to set up a fake, you know, uh, fake persona of you and then use it to exploit other people for you know malicious intentions or gains. So your confidentiality is the first thing that you, know, you need to protect. The second thing that uh, every attacker is trying to break when they are breaking your security is your integrity. So and in integrity in this case is the accuracy of the information that you have or that you get. So the integrity around you means that you wrote something down or you kept something and that thing remains the way you kept it. So once you kept a data or you kept an information about you and then somebody comes to alter, for instance, you can set somewhere your birthday and you, the name of the town where you grew up. If an hacker comes there and changes your birthday from your date and changes to another person's date or changes the information about where you reside to someone else with the intention of using it for a malicious purpose, then your, the integrity of your data is no longer, you know, uh, has been compromised. That means your data that you save there is no, does not have integrity. And this is very important in business, you know, or even in life generally, that when you keep your data, that the data remains accurate. For example, imagine a case whereby you provide your details, your information about your family, about your children is kept somewhere. And then the time is for you to, uh, the time is right for you to access some funds or access some benefits and then you present the information and they found out that your child who is supposed to be recorded as a male is being recorded as a female or your child who is really recorded is supposed to be recorded as being three years old is now being recorded as being 15 years old or less you know that means the integrity of that data about your family is no longer intact so your integrity is the second thing that uh ACAS or cyber security attacks is looking at is being compromised the top thing that is usually being under attack is your availability. So you can imagine keeping your data or keeping something that belongs to you somewhere and you need it at some point in time, but you can no longer access it. It means you don't have access to what it belongs to you. It's no longer available to you. So your availability is often being compromised by, you know, hackers or, or some attackers generally. So it simply means you set up a shop, for instance, or you set up a website and people cannot access your website in order to patronize you as a business. Your availability has been compromised. You know, it is very common. That's one of the very common uh, attack on availability. DDoS, distributed denial of service. It means people cannot access your service when they want it. So denial of service is simply denying people your availability. So whenever you are not available when you are supposed to be available, or data that belongs to you is not available when it's supposed to be available, available it means uh, your availability has been compromised. So we have these three key things that we are always secure. So when we are talking about cybersecurity and when we are talking about security generally, these three things are the focus of every protection that you have. Your privacy, which is your confidentiality, your integrity, which is the accuracy of information about you, and the availability, which means the accessibility, the being able to access what belongs to you or you when you have the authority to do so. Once again, this is Cyberculture Interface. These are the three basic things that protection that desires or requires your protection. So whenever you are putting a password on your system, 
Remember, you are protecting your confidentiality, you are protecting the integrity, your integrity, and you are protecting your availability. Thank you.